Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, what you see on your screen is what we are going to be creating. And this is very, very, very easy. I'll be teaching you every single thing you need to know because this, if you can create this, then you can do amazing things inside of Canva, okay? But before we get into it, if this is the first time you have seen my face or if you keep watching me and you haven't subscribed, I invite you, please subscribe to this channel, okay? And if you are new to Canva, I have a special link in the description box below that can help you, you know, try out Canva Pro for free. For 30 days so make sure you are trying that out and let's dive straight into the tutorial so before we get into it i just want to state that i have linked this below okay so there's a link i've also added down below in the description that would help you get all of these photos because these are the main photos we will be using okay so i'll create a new page and the dimension is 1080 by 1350 so make sure you're coming to create a design and you should see Instagram post portrait or you can just come to custom size. Okay, then just enter 1080 and come here and enter 1350. Okay, so that's what you need to do. And it should give you something like this. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to press R on our keyboard for this beautiful shape we have. Okay, so once you have the shape, just drag it down to something like this. Okay, yeah, that's fine then make sure it's centered okay then come into your element okay and we just need a triangle so go into shapes and you should find a triangle it should be the same color of what we have for the shape okay so something like this is cool but bring it down okay and stretch it out all right so something like this is fine because we want it to have the impression that you know this is the floor and this is the wall okay and that's why we have something like this okay so after you do that what we would want to do is i'd want you to darken this color okay make it dark a little bit okay and there's a reason why but just make it dark a little bit something like this and don't worry if you are seeing all of this okay just send this to the back and it should look like this that's the first step now the next thing we want to do is to go into element again and search for wall texture okay wall texture or you can also search for cement okay so wall texture this is the first wall texture we have over here increase the size okay and it should be up to the shape up to the bottom of the shape okay so i'll bring it in front again and i'll reduce the transparency to something like this okay then we can also search for floor okay floor texture so this is what we have at the moment and i think this one should work out for us okay so something like this and let's reduce the transparency as well so you can see this is what we have at the moment it doesn't look anything cool but don't worry it will get better as we go on all right now what i want us to do is now add our images okay so i'm just going to cut everything and paste them here okay for these two we would have to remove the background okay so i would come to edit photo and i should remove the background okay for this particular one and for this one as well remove the background so you can see that they have been removed nicely now this is what we have to do increase the image okay the size of the image and it should be realistic okay so the knee should almost match where the wall and okay and we are going to do the same for this one as well okay yeah but he is a child so he's not going to be taller than the father even though yes it's more likely that some children can be taller than their fathers but you know we don't want we want things to look realistic a little bit all right so this is what we have for these two people okay and you can see already it's looking real okay so we'll use the knee to match the meeting point of the wall and the floor okay then we can add these guys okay so i'll bring this guy here and i'd want to increase him a little bit since he's running the knee will you know fall short a little bit so something like this i think it's fine and this guy okay so he is bending so if he's bending he can't be taller then he looks unrealistic so he should come down a little bit okay almost waist level the ankle and the waist of this guy should almost be the same okay so yeah and let's assume he's tall it means that he would be a little bit up to this point okay so this is what we have at the moment and you can see it's looking almost 
realistic all right so center your images okay make sure they are centered and what we are going to do next is we want to add some shadows under their feet okay but before we do that this is what i want us to do i'd want us to change this floor texture because it's almost not my it's not really working for me sorry about that so let's come here and search for maybe cement okay and we should get maybe something like this okay okay this wouldn't work this might be better okay so something like this and we'll increase the size maybe we can click copy star and click on this okay so send it all the way behind or right so i think this is better okay yeah i think this is better but it should be in front of the shape okay so i'll bring it to the front okay so this is what we have at the moment now let's do this come into your element and search for shadow okay so in shadow we can find so many of them but this is the one i want to work with okay and ideally we can just have it like this okay and you can see it's still working but i think it's better if we try to create individual shadows okay so maybe here we can put one over here okay and let's reduce the transparency a little bit then you can duplicate it and position another one here but because you know this shadow is further away we want to reduce the size and maybe drop it a little bit okay nice one then we have this one this particular shadow okay duplicate it and put, bring it here if you're finding it hard to select the shadow right click come to layer and come to show layers okay so once you click on it you can just easily duplicate and all that okay yeah so i can just choose this one duplicate it a little bit and i can just you know place it here and send it behind the guy okay so every shadow can come behind all these people standing here okay so based on the shadow you want to adjust you can just adjust them nicely and you can see everything is looking good okay so I think a last one maybe somewhere here like this okay so this is what we have at the moment and you can see it looks it looks better i think this looks you know better and we can leave it like this so let's add our text okay so press t on your keyboard for a text and increase it or move it to the top over here i don't know why i like the word increase <laughs> so come to league gothic or just search for league gothic okay Lee Gothic G U E. It looks like I can't spell Lee Gothic anymore. So Lee Gothic, okay, and that is what you are looking for. So increase the size and say anything you want. I'll just say hoops. Okay, so hoops, and we want to make it all caps. So when you click on this um, button or icon, it makes it all caps. Then increase the size. Okay. Once you increase the size, you can drop it down below and we would want it to be behind all of these people so right click come to layer again show layers and what you can do is bring it behind all of them okay so something like this then what we want to do next is we would want to add something nice because this looks empty at the moment okay so come into element again search for basketball okay so basketball and you should see this option okay so once you select it we want this to you know to be here maybe it's just something like this okay yeah and we send it behind all of them okay so right click come to layer come to show layers and it should be behind all of them just like that all right but you can see that we are not really achieving that okay because we are seeing this part and this part showing so let's reduce it more to something like this okay and we don't want any part of this particular basketball to show that oh, okay it's cut out no so what we can do is we can select all of them okay and we can increase them more okay so increase them and you can see that alone does the work for us and i can bring him inside just a little bit okay and i can also bring this guy in a little bit okay and it still works everything is still working nice 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 okay so what we want to do next is we want to add another text so duplicate this one okay and turn this side off 
And I will just say, or you can, let's type battle, okay, of the hoops, okay, yeah. Because we want this thing to sound more of like basketball. Then reduce the size, okay. Then come to Lee Gothic, go back, story, <laughs> and search for Miss Truly, okay. Yeah, this is the font we want to use for this. So bring it to the front, okay. Yeah, the front. And what we want to do now is select it, come to effect and add a shadow to it. Okay. Then the back shadow won't use a white or what we have behind just so that we can separate in the part of the text so that it stands out. All right. So the transparency, we are going to increase the transparency and the offset will reduce it a little bit. Okay. Uh -huh. So I think this one works for us So select it and reduce the size then select this and drop this down a little bit okay so battle of the hoops then what we want to do is we want to create you know something that would separate the ball from the text okay so come here and search for light okay so light and choose the light effect bring it here and we can just crop it you know something like this right click layer again show layers and bring it behind everyone plus the basketball okay so you can see the effect we are creating it's very subtle but very cool now we want to add some logos at the bottom over here and this logo should come with a design okay so in fact let me delete this page okay then i will come into my uploads and fetch all of the logos okay so all of the logos should be added and all you want to do is to arrange them nicely okay so reduce the size position this here okay nba tv choose the size okay position this one also over here something like that okay and we have the nike um you know logo position it here and i'll remove the background of this nike logo and we have the nba one we'll also move it to the top plus espn because we are just assuming this is going to be a basketball show okay so these are some of the stations i think these are u.s based uh tv stations, but you can use your own country's uh, stations okay so you can see what we have over here and yes the last thing we want to do is to do some color grading okay so select it any of the images okay and come to adjust and you know make this warm a little bit the temperature make it warm the brightness you know maybe a little bit and add some contrast okay then the color increase the saturation slightly and the vibrance also as well then right click copy style paste to this guy okay and it's been affected right click this gentleman right click copy style and this gentleman okay and you can see they have all been affected and this is what we have been able to do let me know what you think about this in the comment section below did you enjoy it? did you not enjoy it comment it down below and if you love this please like this video and share this video with anyone you know who uses canva okay or if you have some designers you're working with share this video with them and i'm sure it's going to be helping them massively the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in the next video yeah.